circle how to solve this nice exponential equation from here we have x raised to the power 4 let's take minus 4 here become plus 4 which is now equal to 0 from here the next step let's add 4x squared and also subtract 4x squared that is we have x raised to the power 4 plus 4 then plus 4x squared minus 4x squared then equals to 0 here now what we have done here adding 4x squared and subtracting it we still give us x is to the power 4 plus 4 then from here we can also rewrite this and this will be x is to the power 4 plus 4x squared then plus 4 then we can put this together then minus 4x squared which is equal to 0 from here and what we have here can still be written as x squared plus 2 all squared the expansion here will give us what we have here then minus here we can write 4 as 2 squared then x squared equals to 0 from here then here applying the law of indices when we have a raised to the power n b raised to the power n so here we have a into a a a b all raised to the power n so here this same thing as that so we have x squared plus 2 all square now then minus 2x all square then equals to 0 from here then next what we have here follows difference of two squares that is when we have a square minus b square this gives us a plus b then multiply by a minus b then here a now stand as x square plus 2 so here we have x square plus 2 then plus b which is 2x then close bracket then open another bracket we have x square plus 2 then minus 2x now equals to 0 from here then what we have here we have two possible cases the first one here we have x square plus 2x plus 2 when we rearrange equals to 0 or from here we have x square minus 2x plus 2 equals to 0 from here now solving this quadratic equation using ax equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a is 1 coefficient of x square then b is 2 then c is 2 and on this side what we have becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 then times 2 then over 2 and here we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 then minus 8 over 2 and here it gives us x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus root minus 4 over 2 then from here can still write this as x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 4 times minus 1 then over 2 from here and here when we separate this 
we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 4 there is 2 and root minus 1 there is i then over 2 and from here we can separate this and this become x equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 and this reduces to x is equals to minus 1 plus or minus i so we have two complex solutions on this side then also on this side here we can also use the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and on this side a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 then c equals to 2 so that here x will now be equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of we have minus 2 square now, then minus 4 times 1, then times 2, then all divided by 2 times 1, which will give us x equals to 2 plus or minus root 4 minus 8, then over 2. Then from here, this become x now equals to 2 plus or minus root minus 4 over 2 and here root minus 4 here is 4 times minus 1 which become x equals to 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 and also when we separate this this gives us x now equals to 2 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 and which becomes x now equals to 1 plus or minus i also we have two complex solutions from here so altogether making four solutions here and when we write it out we can say from here the first solution x1 and here we can write it out as 1 plus i and x2 from here as well we have 1 minus i then the third solution can be written out from here which is minus 1 plus i so we have x3 as minus 1 plus i then the fourth solution x4 might be written as that minus 1 minus i so all these are the solutions to the problem which are four complex solutions here thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell share this video see you next class and bye for now